Well, I've been teaching probably all my life, really, uh, and I've worked in different professions, but I've just always enjoyed connecting with other people. And so uh, it's that um, shared intellectual curiosity and um, sharing competencies. I really enjoy uh, engaging with others, so I guess that's why I've, I've been a teacher really. I've uh, worked in several different professions uh, and perhaps in my generation that's unusual uh, because we were part of that group of people who thought we had a job for life. But um, I've worked clinically in oncology, uh, treating people with cancer, and I taught um, there how to manage the dosimetry calculations for that treatment. Then I worked as a freelance radio journalist in a, a feminist collective in Sydney and taught women how to um, embrace those skills of journalism and panelling and, and sound production. And then I moved on um, with my life uh, across to New Zealand. Uh, when I came over here, I had to reinvent myself again, and so I became an academic. Uh, so it's that those changing um, elements of the broader world system, I guess, that have brought me here. Ruth is so devoted and thoughtful to um, the way, the pedagogy of teaching. She has brought in a lot of, um, a lot of visual methods to her classes, especially her methods papers, getting students to connect with the topics um, and the techniques and the tools in innovative ways. Uh, Ruth uses media, she uses film, she uses sound, uh, she uses internet technologies and social networking technologies uh, to bring, I guess, a very contemporary approach to a very not necessarily contemporary discipline. She not only challenges and pushes her students to achieve at a higher level, but she gives them a whole range of support, um, resources, time, her advice, her guidance, her mentorship that then enables, enables um, her students to meet those challenges and to achieve, to achieve well. I try to make my classes relevant um, so that the young people who come here to Otago um, my contribution is to their well-rounded education and that means it's not only about um, my discipline, although I, like, I love my discipline, I think anthropology is great, um, but I think that they need to learn a lot, a lot of other life skills too, how to manage their um, assignments, how to, how to prepare CVs, how to speak in public. And I think that I'm able to uh, teach them some of those skills along with my colleagues here at the university. And so that's what I think uh, teaching with your feet in the real world is. And I think it also means um, being honest yourself about uh, difficulties you might have had in learning or achieving. Um, and. Uh, you know, let's be frank, like all of us have the occasional uh, lecture that falls like a stone into treacle. So recognising that and, and moving back from it and sorting it out and improving it for the next time that we meet in class. So I think it's all of those skills. It's about, I, I guess I value university not as an ivory tower. I think that you learn wonderful skills that are absolutely relevant to your future life here. And it's a wonderful opportunity. So I guess it's trying to get people to make the best of that moment in their lives when they have the um, exposure to university life to embrace it fully. The readings that she picks, I think, uh, which is like, you know, the stuff that you come to class thinking about, are really, really interesting. And I think she's probably, like for lecturers that I've had, she's the one who most consistently picks like fascinating material to go with the stuff that she teaches. Um, Another thing that I really like about her teaching style is a real enthusiasm that really translates well um, when you watch her lecturing. She's not just a lecturer, she's like a real teacher, you know, she has that passion and it kind of really comes across in the way that she teaches. And yeah, I think she has a real engagement with students where, you know, she cares about what we're interested in and she'll sort of move her... Uh, the things that she's teaching and the way that she frames stuff to like line up with the things that we're going to be interested in learning about. I teach in social anthropology, so that's about the changing world system and um, it's, it's very important for young people to understand these bigger issues, you know, like migration, forced migration, um, cosmopolitanism, um, religious revivalism, all of these things matter in today's world. They're part of that complexity that young people are dealing with and social anthropology provides one avenue for exploring them.